Hi, my name is Tom Spark. Today I'm going to be talking to you about mini routers, specifically a mini VPN router. So what is a mini VPN router? The basic idea is that it's an ultra portable router that you can fit inside your pocket, bring with you in your backpack, your luggage, whatever. So when you're traveling, you can connect this tiny router to the internet in your hotel and then any device that you connect to the router is going to be filtered through the VPN's encryption. So you could connect every one of your devices to the Wi-Fi and then start up VPNs on each device or this way if you want you can just plug the router in really quickly and then anyone who's in the hotel room can connect to that Wi-Fi signal and access encrypted internet. It's super convenient and it's actually pretty easy to use. There are also other uses if you want to just use it at home you can have you know your little mini VPN router connection when you want to do encrypted things on the internet and then if you're like want some more speed for gaming or something like that, you can connect to your other internet connection that doesn't have the VPN active. There's a lot of useful things that you can do with it. So today I'm gonna to show you how to set up a mini VPN router, and then I'm gonna show you how to test if your IP is different and encrypted and using a shared IP through your VPN provider that you're deciding to use. So I've reviewed TorGuard in the past and they liked my review when they saw it and they decided to send me one of these mini VPN routers from their TorGuard store. They sell routers there and I thought since I got it I could do a little review of it and test it out, show you how to set it up. Um, the process will be pretty similar with other VPN companies if you want to use their software and servers. Just keep in mind that they not, might not be pre-flashed or you might not be able to buy the same kind of router because most of the VPN providers don't have stores that you can buy from so what you might have to do is buy a router from something like Amazon and then you might have to flash it. Today we're just going to be focused on a pre-flashed uh, mini VPN router from the TorGuard store. I'll show you how to set it up and go from there. So this is what the mini router looks like. You can see it's connected with the red and the green buttons on. And then we have little fans on the side, and then we have the USB reset buttons. And then on the back, you can see the blue is going to my computer, the black is going into the router itself, directly to the internet. And then here we have it again. It's pretty small and pretty cute little device. So now that you have plugged in your router to the power, and plugged in the internet into the WAN port, you're going to want to go to 192.168.8.1. Once you get to this website and you're connected to your router, you're going to want to set a password to log in. And then once you do this, it's going to take you to the next interface page. Once you get into the main interface page, one thing you might want to consider doing is navigating to the wireless settings tab. Once you're here, you're going to be able to change the password for the Wi-Fi. By default, it should be something like good life. You might want to check the brochure or whatever comes with your router to make sure what the default password is. You're gonna, you could change the ID of the password here and you could go ahead and change the password as well just to make sure no one's getting on your router. So when you connect to yours, this is just gonna be blank. What you're gonna do is you're gonna download open VPN config files. Now, I will put those in the description box below for TorGuard. If you want to use another VPN software company, you're going to have to find them from the website. So what you're going to do is you're going to drag them in like this, put them in, it's going to be uploaded. And this part you're going to have to enter in your information to access the servers with your VPN credentials. So you're going to have to have an active VPN subscription. I'm going to go ahead and enter and my credentials here. So I went ahead and put in my login information. You should get this in an email if you sign up with TorGuard. So you could go ahead and pick a server. This part's important. If you don't pick a server, nothing's gonna happen. So if you want, you could click this option too, which means that if your VPN is not connected, you won't be able to use the internet. So this is important if you wanna protect your IP, you don't wanna use the VPN without internet. So. Doesn't really matter for now. I'll just go ahead and click it. Um, and then once you do that, you're gonna click apply. This is when it's gonna kind of start up the VPN through your router. So 
So you can see it's connected right now. Good to go. So we could go ahead and do a IP test to show you it's working. So to test it's working, you can go to TorGuard's TorGuard.net. What's my IP? And then you can see information about the server you're connected to. So that's pretty much the end of this basic mini VPN router tutorial. If you like this kind of thing or you want to see more tutorials, we can do more. And like, comment, and subscribe for more VPN information, how-to guides. I want to do some VPN reviews on this channel. If you haven't checked out my website, it's best10vpn.com. I have tons of VPN reviews. You can see kind of how they're ranked against each other. I have a lot of articles and how-to guides on that website, so you can check it out as well. But stay tuned for more videos coming soon.